Hello, math friends. Welcome to A Squared Math and Stuff. This example, we are focusing on a polygon and we're looking to calculate the area being given the height and a side length. And this is actually going to be a regular polygon. I forgot to put that in here when I was typing it. We are given the height and that is going to be our 6.84. And the side length is our 7.9. Since this is a regular polygon, that means that all of the sides are the exact same length. If this side length then is 7.9 feet, that means this side length here is also 7.9 feet. So let me write that in there so you can see that. And I wanna write that there because when I start thinking about polygons and figuring out the area, what I can do is I can divide that up into triangles. So if I go from this center point and I draw a line to this vertice here and I draw another line over here, I can form a triangle. And we know the area or the formula to calculate the area of a triangle. So area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. If I take this triangle and I redraw this all over here so we can see it in a position that we're more familiar with, the height here, the 6.84, is here. So that is 6.84 feet. And our base is our 7.9 feet. I know this is the height because this is a uh, it's not marked here, but this is going to be a 90 degree angle here. It's going to end up being a perpendicular bisector to that side length of this hexagon. So calculating the area, we have one half base times the height. Base we know is 7.9. So if we take area of our triangle, we have one half times the base, 7.9 feet, and then times the height, which is our 6.84 feet. Multiply that through and we end up with 27.018 feet squared. So that's the area of just one triangle. This shape though is made up of multiple triangles and this shape is actually made up of the same number of triangles as there are sides. So this is a six-sided figure or a hexagon. And if we were to create triangles that come from the center and extend out to each vertice, we would have six triangles in there. So this 27.018 feet squared is the area of this single triangle here. So now what we have to do is just multiply it by the number of triangles. Well, there's six triangles in here because we have six sides. So let's take this 27.018, multiply it by six, and we will get a total area. So the area of our polygon, and this is a hexagon, so I'll write area of hexagon, is equal to 162.11. We wanted to round this to two decimal places according to the directions. And that since it's area, it's our unit squared. So 162.11 feet squared. So just to refresh, we had a regular polygon. We were given the height and a base or the side length. We figured out the area of a triangle, multiplied that by the number of sides, because that's our number of sides here. And we were able to calculate number of sides, sorry. We were able to calculate then the area of the total polygon. If you like what you saw in this video, please hit the subscribe button down below and I will be chatting with you later.